differentiation of male germ cells to sperm in the lab. Several attempts have previously been made to establish and optimize germ cell cultures using specific culture media, growth factors, conditioned media of testicular or non-testicular origin, and feeder layers. In the present study that was performed by Dr. Abelhija and the team, we developed in vitro culture conditions using a three-dimensional system, which has the capacity to induce testicular germ cells to reach the final stages of spermatogenesis including sperm generation. The tubular cells were isolated from the testes of seven-day-old male mice. At this age, the testes did not contain any meiotic germ cells. The cells treat and culture it with a special three-dimensional system. After one month, colonies of testicular cells were formed with different sizes. The colonies were picked and examined for differentiation markers of spermatogenesis by PCR and by immunofluorescent staining. Markers of differentiation were found in the culture after one month. We also confirmed the presence of postmeiotic germ cells by a series of micrographs depicting progressive stages of differentiating spermatids up to morphologically normal spermatozoa. Mature sperm were present in the culture after 30 days of culture. When analyzing microscopic smears from 16 wells after 30 days of culture, we detected normal-looking sperm in 11 wells. In conclusion, our study confirms that our system can be used as a novel in vitro system for the expansion and maturation of premeiotic male germ cells into meiotic and postmeiotic stages. For the first time, we show in vitro generation of morphologically normal sperm. More studies have been done in this field and report that whole human spermatogenesis can be achieved in vitro or ex vivo. In the future, this technology should be helpful in clinical practice, not only to save fertility in patients subjected to radiotherapy and chemotherapy, but also to correct some non-obstructive azoospermia due to Sertoli cell dysfunction.